if you really look, you can see the tower. It's really nice. It is a foggy, cold day. And we see our first buildings. What's up guys, it's Ronan again, and today I'm gonna to be exploring an abandoned radar station here in Germany. If this is your first time watching our channel, I would like to thank you for joining us and hope that you will consider subscribing. So as you can see, this radar station is in Prum, a German, well, it's north to Prum, and you can see this is the main tower. It's very interesting. And this the station was made in the 1950s and then abandoned basically in 2004, so not that long ago. And you can still see street signs that still have the word, that still have Prum Air Station on it. But look at this. Let's start exploring. It is really interesting and it is, it is actually a very foggy day and you could hardly see anything. And it's probably like, I don't know, four inches of snow, something like that. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of buildings if you look at the aerial image. We're gonna pop that up on the screen right now. Wow, look at the Constantino wire, razor wire, sheesh. Look at that. You do not want to be trying to get through that. Okay, so you can see this might have been an office building. A lot of stuff on the ground. I just walked over there, and here is the back of the area that I just showed. No, it isn't. Never mind. Here's a bathroom with a toilet exploding. Look at that. That's hardly even a toilet. Gone. Reduced to atoms. Mm. Just a bunch of... Insulation, insulation, and then yeah, I'm gonna go into this other room. More, this was, um, my idea is it's an office building actually. It does make sense. It's pretty big. And then yeah, let's explore more of this awesome base. Wow, look at that. This looks like a prison. What, how is it, why are the walls so tall? Like, no one's gonna get up that. So we think this is a checkpoint into this really tall security area and somebody must have shot this glass with a shotgun because it is apparently bulletproof. Crazy. But look at this. Oh, so here's an eagle. That might have been here. Oh, I think this, this isn't graffiti, I don't think. This was here before. Look at this. And the other side should have, wait, maybe you can just hold it if you can. Cause look, that's the tower. So this might be the unit symbol we think. And it's definitely not graffiti because you can see this is actually the tower and there's an eagle and it's on both sides of the door. And it says connection, something the connection. I can't tell because the paint is ripped off over here. Oh, the Eiffel connection. Okay, that makes sense. Cause it's the region we are in. Okay, let's check out the rest. Okay, this looks like it is a nasty bathroom. Over here, another bathroom, I think. And, wow, it's just crazy. Oh my gosh. This goes on forever. Wow, How the ceilings are just gone. Maybe we'll try this area right over here. Cause it goes, it's like a little U. Wow, this is really cool. It's a big area. Okay, so this was, this was here. Yep, this is a bathroom. This is a joke, okay. So I think it was there when they were here. How do they do that? Look at that. <laughs> Monsters Inc. It's funny, okay. Uh, there's very high security, as you can see with these 20 foot walls. Oh, there's the tower. I got it completely wrong, it's over there. <laughs> what if we would be able to get on the tower? Wow, we are currently about to be... Okay, now we are under the tower. Very much under the tower. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff like snow melting. So I'm going to try and... I'm covering the lens. Look at that. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I am up on the first level and this is probably as high as I'm gonna go. Yes, it is. Okay, so I am currently on the top. Well, not on the top, I'm on the first level, but it is pretty cool. You can see the big security area. They're just over, just got in. Yeah, that's crazy. This is really nice. Just look up. That is just, wow. Wow, that is amazing. So that was very cool. It was um, only, I went to the first level and the first two levels were stair, were, um, was a ladder and the next levels were stairs, but it was very slippery and icy. So it wasn't, it was at the point it wouldn't be safe to go much higher. So I just went to the first level and showed you guys around. There's, here's where we started. That was only one thing. Wow, we were already up at the tower. To me, this looks like barracks. Wow, the remains of this base. Literally no glass windows, they're all gone. So here is a building. So we're gonna go through here. just saw these rooms. This is very cool. Look at that. Icicles inside this building. That, that's like some really good abandoned film. Whoa. Look at this. This is a foot of water, two feet of water. That is completely flooded. Well, that's cool. There's a, little, there's a dragon. But they kind of gave up with the coloring on the scales and the tail. That's very cool. Carpet is still in here. And actually, this is the door, room 121. That one has carpet, too. I got a good picture. We're gonna go to the stairs, check out the next. This is exactly where we came in with the flooded stuff. Just walking through this base feels like it's like an apocalypse movie because it's just an empty place. It's all abandoned places are like that, but like, it's really interesting. Like the snow makes it feel different. Like it just came through the window that's not even here, but it is pretty cool. Very cool. I love dinosaurs dancing. Gosh, look at that. It's just snow just came in. Okay, we're going to the next level. Yeah, I won't, <laughs> but I can just look. Nothing here, that might have been just a big window, I don't know. It's all gone, there's snow in here. Snow got through. This is top level. Must have just been like a window here because it's just second and third floor just gone. Look at that. Whoa, what's that noise in there? Mateus. Yeah, oh my <laughs> god. Jeez, Mateus. No, I saw I saw that coming. I'm like, I wasn't gonna walk in there. 
Building number 2504, 2504, and then there's 2503, 2503. So the building number is 2503. says, warning this facility is protected by an instruction detection alarm system. Warning. Oh my gosh. There's an alarm system, guys. There's a lot of snow here. Wow. Oh, um, here's some more information about the, the space because it was first used as like signaling for, um, first it was used in the Cold War. Then it was used for weather, and then after they used, this um, station wasn't really used because we started using um, German radars, so then this place was kind of useless, and they abandoned it in 2004. So, yeah, it's not that long ago if you think about it. 18 years ago? Okay, we're coming up on this. Let's see what's down here. We can definitely go on top of it, though. What if the um, mobile radar drove up here and just sat up here? So we think the mobile radar could have just driven up here, driven up here and had a big area to have a signal. Yeah, I, I watched a video about them like setting up the radar. I wonder, it could have been right here. And then, so here's a little sign, hazardous noise area may cause hearing loss. Use proper hearing protection within this. Yeah, there's, there's nothing on the, yeah, because you need proper hearing protection, it's gonna be pretty loud. There's a door, but honestly, we don't need one. Just look at that, people. It's pretty cool. Dad, somebody lives here. It's written in German. Yeah. Matthias, someone lives here. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that is input power circuit breaker. Probably where all the cables would fit or something like that. When I walked over here, I thought this was another like advantage point for a mobile radar because it does look like a truck would drive up here and sit up there. So I'm gonna go around and check this out, then go up along where that was. Honestly, I can get in through here, but there's no point because you could literally see everything. It's like a little overpass. Okay, yeah. I think that's exactly what this is. And please verify, it would be really awesome to know exactly like what these places are. I have a pretty good idea about most of them, but it would be cool to know exactly. Oh wow, this is kind of steep for snow. Yeah, this is exactly what I think that is. There's still so many buildings. Building 2110. And yeah, if there are any veterans, another reminder, <laughs> please comment on this video and tell us about your experience here and when you were here because it is very nice to learn different parts of the story. Because in my mind, this is really an interesting um, abandoned base. This is where you would park some stuff. We think this was, this is storage for, extra storage for people who live on the space. Oh my God, I'm not sitting on that. The number on this building is 2107. Wow. Oh, there's stairs. <laughs> That's cool. 
Yeah, so in this big pile of cords, we found a little van with no wheels just sitting here. Oh, here's the inside of it. So I am getting into this, walking into this warehouse looking place. There are some cool looking stairs. And as always, there's a ton of wires. Oh, pride, performance, professionalism. Welcome to mobile tax best. 601 tax age. No hats work inside shop. And there's the, let's, as the, the destroyed part of this warehouse. Huh. Yeah. I'm going up the stairs now. And not really anything. Look at that. We're gonna also explore this place. The number of it is 2407. We think this might have been a chapel. Kind of looks like a chapel from here. There's like stained glass door. Interesting door. Stuff is just falling out of it. Special type of glass. There's a big box in here. This is gonna wrap up this long exploration video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. This was, like I already said, it is a pretty long video, but this was truly interesting to explore this base because it's kind of like an apocalypse movie, like you think, because we've explored abandoned bases before and it's just really empty, And but it is really cool. And it's even better when veterans that actually used to um, work at this base and live here when they watch this video and inform us about where, what everything was and where it was, because sometimes we just don't really know exactly what something is. But in our last abandoned base video, video there were so many veterans who commented on that video and it was very cool. So this was a really cool base, especially the radio tower, radar tower is fun to go up there, but it was pretty cold and slippery. But I think my favorite part was around the radio tower with like the big barbed wire um, walls. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can join us on our next adventure. And goodbye.